Hey everybody, this is the 2024 Land Rover Defender. This one is rare, this one is special. It's the Defender 130 outbound, meaning that we've deleted the third row and we have more cargo space. See this panel? Outbound. You may have seen this video is labeled as a low light video. So let's check it out at various levels past sunset. Right now it's about 10 minutes past sunset. We'll be able to see the outside lights, the inside lights. What backlighting do we have? First interior look friends. Let's take a look. Do we see any blue lighting anywhere? Oh yeah, we do across the hall there and right here in the door handles, ambient lighting. What in here too? Didn't expect that, but it's everywhere and you can change the color to one that you might like better. And really you don't even have to like it better. You just have to be in a different mood for a different color. Look at this, the manual rear moonroof shade. That is really cool. I love that. Plenty of legroom, headroom, shoulder room back here. Backseat passengers are gonna be super happy, super tall. So if you're a tall person, you'll be just fine in the second row. And look, we got grab handles, nice and secure to get up in there, whether you got leg problems, hip problems, back problems, neck problems, should be pretty easy and helpful to you. Rear air, just kind of tweak it like this. And then you could change the temperature as well. USBs, I like that in the back. Boom, and air. There's air even in the third row. I call it the third row, but it's really the long cargo compartment. Meridian sound system, it sounds banging in here. Honestly, I see more blue lighting. Do you guys see that? We're gonna find out how to change that. Oh, look at this right here, friends. Woo, power seat, multi-adjustable, that's for sure. So many different configurations for that seat. Down below, down below. Got lighting down here. Oh, a sill plate, illumination. Love that word. Backlit lights, all right. Backlit lights, all right. So many different options. And remember, this one has the combination of luxury features plus, hey, wait, what's in here? Oh, oh, that is really cool. We got an illuminated cool box, two different settings. And I'm telling you, it stays ice cold. What did Outcast say? What's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wonder who sponsors this video? It's not Mountain Dew. This would be Jaguar Land Rover. Thank you for letting me film this one. I really appreciate it. What else we got? See what our lights look like, right? Here we go. Put it in reverse. So we can see our brake lights. Our turn signals. Impressive. I love the lights on the side there, the marker lights. Really cool stuff. So we go forward. I just want you to get a feel for everything that we can possibly see. Nice, and our flashers. Ooh, that is a nice looking front end here. I love the headlight design, the fog lights. So see, this could be white here. And then this is gonna be the amber orange color. I like that. It's so wide that we've gotta have the lights on the side. This is a great looking vehicle here. It's a combination between an off-roading menace and luxurious. People have been joking saying this is the luxury tank or the limo tank. The turn signals, they light up big and small. I see the plate light, not plate lit, plate light. Let's get in here. Ooh, okay. Okay then, storage pocket here, Defender. In case we forgot what it is, I think every manufacturer should have badging so that you know, because they're proud of this one here. Got the light back here, it really shines bright too. 12 volt circular, got the grounded outlet here, and then this would be the air compressor if you wanted one of those. Hook comes out, and then air that comes back here too. So if you're overnight camping, that would be one thing. Does this open? No, it doesn't open, but it goes down far enough where you could store stuff, a little hook. So lots of conveniences I see, lots of storage, Lots of pockets. And then watch this right here. We've got our suspension that we're gonna raise the vehicle up right from the back here. And then if I want to lower it, limbo lower now, maybe I've got something big and heavy like a walrus or a piano or a fully matured giraffe. I wanna load it in the back. Well, I'd rather have it sit lower. Got the hooks here. 
tow capacity of 8,201 pounds. And by the way, if you want to have your dogs climb up there, look at this, this protects it. Also, if you're loading stuff, no scuff. No scuff, baby, no scuff. Looks like we changed the lighting a little bit here. We've gone purple. Prince would be happy with his rain. It's purple. Purple rain, purple rain. And that looks really cool with the white sill plate too. That is amazing. Now, look at this. Defender is lit up here in this nice convenient storage pocket here. There's a USB there. And it goes all the way through to the other side, like the doors say. It broke on through to the other side. So now we've switched it to orange. Maybe we can go with green. Huh. Could we go with white? Hit it. Okay. I like that look too. So, so many different moods match so many different things. We could go up and down. We can twist it. And look, a couple people who rode with me in the passenger side said they love this little step here. So if you've got your seat back, you can rest your feet on that side and that might be convenient for you. Just so many different options for your seat configuration. I like the storage room here. It's enough for my cord and wireless pack. Again, we got to look in here because it's so awesome. This is really interesting here because yes, it's the temperature. We got to know the temp, right? Of course we do. So we, we're gonna tweak the temperature like this, but if we push it down, that's for heated seat. We don't want that today. We want cooled seats. So you can turn it to cooled seat and now push it again. I could be cooled seat and then we are riding pretty. Also, we can do different drive modes. So I could do eco mode, comfort, Grass, gravel, snow, mud rut, sand, rock crawl, wading. Yes, we can wade in almost three feet of water, nearly that much. You can also configure it how you want to. So go with what you want, but you can configure it based on the terrain and how you want to feel in the ride. Now that it's getting darker, it's going to be a little bit hard to tell the specific buttons and controls, but look at here on the steering wheel, LIM, that limits your speed. So if you think you got a heavy accelerator pedals, like I do sometimes, you could set it on the highway, let's say 76, 75, 72, so you don't go past this speed, even if you have this set, which is your cruise, your adaptive cruise. You can change the distance between you and cars in front of you, the lane keep assist. And then we could change, you can put up a favorite here. We've got a keypad. This goes between those features that we might wanna see. Look at this. So you can configure going down, 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 head up display settings, vehicle settings, tire pressure. If I'm driving and I want to change this right here, the air suspension, I can do that. I'm gonna raise it up right now. It's raising it up. You probably can't see. So you can raise it. You can lower it. I'm going to try to hold it still. See if we can lower it a little bit. Oh yeah. It's going lower. So that's some of the things you can do. You can turn off your engine start stop feature. That might be something you want to use. And then here we can swipe, swipe, swipe. We can do our slope assist. So that'll be, it's gonna tell us our pitch, our roll, and automatic lockers. So it switches between unlocked and locked, unlocked and locked. I think it's fantastic. I did that going up a hill this week and it really was amazing because you watch this control right here and it does everything you need it to do. Wade sensing. So that can tell us right here, do not wade in flowing water. Okay, we got that, don't do it. But two foot, nine inches, the way it's set right now, and we could also change the up and down, up and down. Configurable terrain response, four by four info. And then we can go to nav, like this. I like how it takes up just about all the screen. We could do phone, we can do music just like this. And of course, all of the apps 
right here. This is my favorite part, I think, because we can really go to any one. Which one of these apps do you see that you think would be just killer to check out? Look at this right here. Get in there. Air quality. They're telling us if we're doing good, we're pulling in the air that's good. The ions purify CO2. I just think that's amazing. Absolutely incredible. We can change where the air comes out just like that. There's no way we're gonna be able to see this one. Just imagine this is the digital rear view mirror here. It's gonna be a little bit grainier. And then we've got the overhead. So this will be for opening up the shade. Oh, gotta hit that a little bit. It goes all the way to the second row. There we go. Okay, and we can open this one, I think about halfway. Get a little bit of light in here. Might help my presentation just a little bit more. So how do you guys like this? Are you impressed with it? Oh, you know what? One thing I do want to show is one thing I'm not exactly the biggest fan of here is the backup camera. It's good. It's just, I feel like it could be a little bit different system to make it a little bit easier. If I'm going into a spot like this, I just want a little bit easier time to be able to figure out the spot I'm in. And if you look on the side, it's kind of just a little bit blurry right here on the side. But what I do like about it is look at this right here. You can change the view. See, this is cool. And it's not bad for at nighttime. So we can actually show what the, what the view is like as we are moving. Isn't that cool? So I am impressed with that. I just wish it was just a little bit different system for backing into parking spots. If I hit the lock and unlock, we've got Defender right here. Oh, you can even see it there. That is amazing. I love the lights and this one here is so crystal clear, especially on pavement. Love it. The other thing I really like is, watch this, when we turn on the lights, look, you get lighting from the back as well. So if you're loading gear, you just wanna be a little bit safer. I just think that's the way to go. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate you being here. What did you think about Land Rover Defender? Are you a fan? What things jumped out at you in the vehicle, out of the vehicle? I'm gonna be doing a separate video for Auto Jeff Reviews that talks about all the cool features, gadgets, technology, multimedia, and et cetera, et cetera. So be sure and check that one out and click that Land Rover playlist because we'll have more and more videos as this channel gets bigger and bigger. Thanks for following. I really appreciate you all. Bye.